So shall we start then? No, 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 sir. No, I can start with brief introduction, sir. I can hand okay. out to you, then I can hand out. Okay, after your introduction, I'll share the screen then. Sure, okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, uh, good evening. Uh, good evening to all. And good evening, sir. Uh, this is today's, I'm very happy to, uh, to, uh, to give opportunity to us, sir, uh, to our Dr. Reddy's team. Uh, and to, today our topic is uh, role of melatonin sleep disturbances. And today our speaker is there is to Dr. Rama Reddy Kari, uh, MD Psychiatry. Sari is located at Raj, Raj Mahindravaram, Manasa Hospital. And also SAR was, uh, his medicine was done in 19, 19, 19, 1976 at Rangaraya Medical College. And MD Psychiatry was done at Nimhans, National Institute of Med Medical Health and Neuro Neuroscience. SAR has, uh, SAR has gotten a lot of national awards, rec recognized by a lot of national awards. Uh, so many national awards, like uh, President Award, BC Roy President Award, and uh, so many national awards. I can tell briefly some of the national awards, like uh, Dr. B.C. Roy National Award and also Dr. D.L.N. Murthy Rao Oresh Navardi. It is created, it is uh, honored by Indian Psychiatry Society. And also Professor J.K. Trivedi Lifetime Achievement Award. And also Dr. Amit Bohra Oresh Navardi. And, uh, and also honored by Indian Medical Association National Diamond Jubilee Oresh Navardi. Lot of awards also uh, he has recognized by lot of national awards and also he has done uh, two medicinal degrees and also another non-medicinal degrees he has done in 27 degrees. So one word I can say, Thar was, it's like a dictionary because he has done 27, uh, 27 non-medicinal non degrees. He has a lot of knowledge. Uh, so today they are, we are very lucky for his session. So without wasting of time, uh, I would like to hand out to sir. Sir, you can have, you can hand out to our deck. You can start with your session, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Am I audible? Yes, sir. It is audible, sir. Okay. After uh, sharing the screen, I will ask you whether it is visible okay. or not. Sure, sir. Okay. Is it okay? Is the screen visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Screen is visible, sir. And uh, my voice is also audible. Uh, it's clearly, your voice is uh, audible, sir. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, giving me this opportunity that Reddy's Lab uh, people and all the participants who have come here to listen to me on the role of melatonin in sleep disturbances. I welcome you all uh, for this session. Sleep uh, is a very essential uh, aspect of life, you know. Even without food, we can survive, but without sleep, we cannot survive. So many problems occur because of the sleep deprivation. See, sometimes even in movies also, we see that to torture uh, for the hardcore criminals, they will not be allowing the person to sleep so that he will be revealing all the truths and all. Such is the thing, such is the important thing for uh, the aspect of the sleep. Here, if you are 50 years old, then uh, just looking back, you might have spent uh, uh, some 18 years during sleep and the rest 32 years uh, in the waking uh, stage. How much of uh, this time, is it a wasteful thing just by taking rest? No, 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 during the sleep, so much of activity goes on. Indeed, uh, if you really see during the daytime, we, we do voluntarily certain activities, but involuntarily without our knowledge, so many things will be happening during the sleep. The first one is information processing. We gather so much data during the daytime. And uh, all that data, all that information has to be assimilated into knowledge by clubbing to the 
existing knowledge and also getting the matured into form of wisdom and the toxin clearances there it is something like so many toxins uh, they get liberated during the metabolic processes and uh, all these things get cleared rebuilding uh, the metabolic thing it is something like a factory factory sometimes for overhauling they will be closing the thing for few hours similarly rebuilding the metabolic thing Mem memory consolidation so here as i was telling so much information overload we will be getting how much to take in how much to take out see our memory is something like a ram like in a ram of a computer and everything that enters into ram doesn't go into the hard disk only few things only we keep save in the hard disk similarly here also memory consolidation tissue repair every day we will be undergoing lot of injury and repair occurs and energy replenishment replenishment during that rest period body rest period again we will be rejuvenating with new energy and a new vigor so sleep is uh, such an important thing and if we go through one particular survey 2015 survey results from india the results were so surprising 93% of indians are sleep deprived getting less than 8 hours per night 93% of indians during their lifetime at one time or other they expressed that they had sleep deprivation and 58% believe their work suffered due to lack of adequate sleep so this is also a remarkably high figure and 11% take leave from work because of lack of sleep not for not because of some sickness or some homework or so but because of just lack of sleep they will be taking a, a leave from uh, office 11% have taken fallen asleep at work due to a poor night sleep and 38% witnessed a colleague falling asleep so uh, we usually joke that uh, office is the best place uh, to sleep indeed it is because of the lack of sleep at home naturally they would be falling asleep at work lack of sleep also affects family relations according to 19% uh, of the people and 87% indians say lack of sleep affects their health 72% of indians are waking up one to three times per night so these are some of the statistics we find from that indian survey and recently we are facing this covid 19 during the past one and a half year in what way the sleep has been affected during the covid 13000 people across 13 countries were uh, uh, affected including uh, were surveyed including india on uh, world sleep day and 33% indians have trouble with their uh, sleep post covid 37% have trouble falling asleep 25% have trouble staying asleep 39% wake up during night so that means so many people more than one third of the people after covid they may be having some uh, physical problem but sleep deprive sleep lack of sleep or uh, getting up so too frequently so this type of problems uh, they are facing and metabolic uh, sleep deprivation what happens it results in uh, what type of disorders metabolic disorders including diabetes and uh, obesity they are uh, more prone for uh, those people who do not get adequate sleep and also there is an increased risk of cardiovascular diseases you know that early morning is the risky period uh, immediately after getting up uh, from the restless uh, uh, night they would be getting uh, uh, heart attacks and all depression and anxiety this is something like a vicious circle like depression produces lack of sleep lack of sleep aggravates the depression Anxi anxious man because of his anxiety he will not be sleeping uh, well because of lack of sleep he will be having more anxiety and hypertension also gets aggravated because of these uh, problems and immunity gets impaired because of lack of proper sleep and uh, uh, lack of sleep or sleep deprivation produces oxidative stress oxidative stress uh, like sleep is uh, a dynamic resting state with uh, antioxidants uh, properties responsible for uh, eliminating uh, the rois the, the reactive oxygen species produced during the wakefulness 
that the normal response of oxidative stress could be impaired under conditions of sleep deprivation. And also these days we talk about inflammation. Previously we were talking about inflammation of a particular area because of some infection or injury or so. These days we are talking a lot about inflammation, insulin resistance and inflammation. So many diseases are because of inflammation. Sleep deprivation leads to loss of productivity. This particular side is a, again a repetition of uh, the earlier slide. The, because, uh, because of the sequence, again it has to be repeated. repeated. 58% believe their work suffers due to lack of sleep. 11% take leave from work because of lack of sleep. 11% have fallen asleep at work due to poor sleep. 38% witnessed a colleague falling asleep at work. Okay, sleep is very essential. We understood. Lack of sleep produces a lot of uh, problems. Okay, understood. Then what about this melatonin? What is this melatonin and in what way uh, we are going to help this uh, sleep deprivation? Melatonin, as you know, is a hormone that is uh, naturally produced by the pineal gland. It conveys uh, various information to various parts of the body. Chemical structure was identified uh, long ago in 1958 itself, but its role has been uh, found to be uh, 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 found excellently during the recent period. Even during the COVID time also, it has been noticed that those people who take melatonin, they, well, they get well from uh, uh, COVID soon. The casualties are less. It is expressed rhythmically throughout the day. It, it doesn't have a constant uh, serum level or so, but rhythmically it shows in the blood. Melatonin is a natural hormone the body secrets that helps to maintain wake sleep cycle, which is uh, the biological clock. Melatonin is an important physiological item and uh, uh, it regulates the circadian uh, rhythm. Here, we have to uh, think about the small, uh, uh, the system there. Here, the retina, which gets the light. When the light is inhibited, uh, it uh, sends, the, uh, uh, it sends the, uh, the waves to, or uh, the message to the suprachiasmatic nucleus, that uh, it has become dark. Now you can start activity. Then the message passes, uh, through superior uh, cervical ganglion, so ultimately to the pineal gland, pineal gland or pineal gland, and uh, this pineal gland, then it releases uh, the melatonin. When the light uh, falls on the retina, again it closes, uh, it sends the message to close down the uh, release of the melatonin. Melatonin has been called uh, the body's own natural sleeping pill. It is uh, NSTL 5 methoxy tryptamine, the principal hormone of uh, pineal gland. It plays a key role in the sleep cycle uh, by helping you fall asleep. Low melatonin levels can cause sleep onset. Uh, this, is a, th this helps in the onset insomnia. This is how our body utilizes melatonin in controlling our sleep. The body changes serotonin into melatonin. Melatonin is stored in, the, stored in the pineal gland inside the brain. The pineal gland releases melatonin only during times when the level of light is low. Practically speaking, this means that melatonin is secreted only at night while you are asleep. In the, mean, in the morning, when you open your eyes, the presence of light is a sign to your brain to shut down the melatonin production. So here, the eye, uh, the eye is responsible for uh, the clock to operate or not to operate. Here, one more thing is, one interesting thing is, they have done experiments with the blind people. Partially blind, because they have some, some amount of vision, melatonin uh, uh, system is regulated well. What about those people whose retina is totally damaged without rods and cones? Rods and cones are totally damaged. What happens? If, if the eyes are totally evacuated, naturally they will not be getting any signal. So that, uh, uh, that goes erratic. But whereas if the eye is there, even though they are not in a position to perceive the light through their rods and cones, still 
they get the signal to melatonin shutdown or melatonin release how is it happening because it is not uh, the the visible pathways but a different pathway from the ganglions it is happening they say okay the clock operates this way causing to sleep pressure by melatonin release at the same time the social timing also uh, i worked hard in the office came came to home and uh, took my dinner and uh, now it is 10 o'clock uh, i think I, can, i have to go to bed so this type of the social timing and also the sleep pressure all together uh, the person goes into the sleep by going into the sleep naturally during that time the pineal releases uh, uh, melatonin leading to cognitive health the memories get consolidated the brain health uh, and including the emotional mental health those things are uh, uh, well maintained and the overall health also generally maintained well here i have to tell about one thing the cortisol production cortisol cycle and this melatonin cycle and here the pituitary gland releases acth acth will be regulating the cortisol so cortisol is a, is a hormone which is a stress hormone when there is a problem when the, the person is facing lot of stress naturally more uh, um, cortisol and uh, adrenaline and noradrenaline releases and all when those are released more again acth so, so that feedback and vicious circle will be operating so here when the cortisol goes up melatonin goes down when melatonin goes up cortisol goes down so that reciprocal relationship we can find what are the probable effects of melatonin it assists with the stress it increases the ability to experience pleasure so that means uh, it it has got not only the opposing of a, oppo, opposing effects on the cortisol and may, makes a person cool but also it, uh, it it results in the ability to experience uh, pleasure maybe um, uh, ananda may and all maybe maybe may, maybe melatonin has effect on uh, that type of uh, uh, the chemical receptor it lowers cholesterol blood pressure and risk of heart rhythm problem it lowers the risk of osteoporosis melatonin supplement if we give supplement of melatonin what happens it helps insomnia especially in the elderly people uh, it decreases the time to fall asleep by 14 minutes if he is getting half an hour to get sleep uh, within 15 minutes itself uh, he will be getting the sleep it improves the sleep efficiency but not total sleep time total sleep time may be the same but the quality of sleep improves and it improves jet lag when taken the day of the flight uh, continued for uh, five days see uh, when we go to some country like us uh, uh, naturally the day will become uh, night there and night will become day there to accustom there we have to struggle and it will be a jet lag people will be talking about that one so when there is a jet lag naturally the body would be suffering mind would be suffering here the melatonin helps in controlling the, the jet lag it uh, the probable effects of uh, melatonin it protects against free radical damage from certain carcinogens herbicides and radiation it prevents or helps fight tumors it delays some effects of aging and also it is a immunity enhancer melatonin plays a key role in sleep regulation and circadian rhythms in humans the endogenous melatonin rhythm is closely linked with endogenous circadian component of the sleep propensity rhythm disturbances of uh, timing of melatonin release or decreased melatonin production can contribute to insomnia hence melatonin is useful in the treatment of insomnia and the readjustment of circadian uh, rhythm so here the important uh, the, the cycle is from the i to the supra chiasmatic uh, chiasmatic nucleus of the hypothalamus and the site of the circadian uh, this is the circadian uh, oscillator site and it gives the message to uh, pineal gland
melatonin also works with uh, cholecystokinin in the digestive tract to decrease the likelihood and the severity of many symptoms associated with uh, gastric ulcers and colitis. So these are all the bonus uh, issues along with the melatonin sleep enhancement. So pineal gland, major site of uh, synthesis of melatonin, skin, gastrointestinal tract, retina, bone marrow, placenta. So these also contribute to the synthesis, of course, in a small amount. Actually, the melatonin is produced from tryptophan. Tryptophan is converted into serotonin, serotonin to N-acetyl serotonin, and it, it goes to form melatonin. What are the factors involved in the production of melatonin? The body doesn't store melatonin. Daily, it produces releases, that's all. It doesn't store uh, for uh, days together or weeks together. Daily production is needed. Light or dark signals from the retina travel through the optical uh, nerve to the brain, where they combine uh, the signals uh, from our body clock, telling the gland to start and stop mechanism of melatonin production. Melatonin can also be produced directly by the retina itself. Without the, uh, without, uh, the stimulation of the pineal gland, the melatonin, to some extent, a little extent, uh, is produced in uh, retina also under the conditions of darkness. What happens uh, uh, to, to the melatonin as the age grows on? During the early age, that means uh, at the age of uh, five years or 10 years or so, it will be at the peak level. And uh, as the age goes on, at the age of 60 or 70, it goes down almost to the level of one fourth of the uh, young age. Melatonin secretion starts at three to four months of age uh, as the sleep consolidates and the peak levels at one to three years of age, slightly lower levels through early adulthood, mark decline in levels afterwards. Peak levels for 70 year olds is one fourth of levels of uh, young adults. Melatonin uh, level variations throughout the day, not only uh, age-wise, but uh, throughout the day also it varies. The variation will be something like uh, night time at uh, 4 o'clock or so, after the 3 o'clock or so, uh, at 4 o'clock it will be at the peak. And it is the lowest at the, at, uh, in the afternoon like uh, 2 p.m. See here you can see the acrophase or calculated peak time is at uh, uh, 4 o'clock and uh, it falls down. By 11 o'clock, it has touched the, uh, the bottom. Sleep is better before midnight. Usually, we get uh, uh, dreams and all very vivid dreams during the uh, early morning time. Whereas, sleep is better before midnight and whatever little sleep we get before midnight will be more refreshing compared to the sleep we get uh, during the uh, early morning hours. Sleep is worth far more before than after midnight. Two hours good sleep before 12 o'clock is uh, worth more than four hours after 12 o'clock, they say. Melatonin in immune systems. Immunological effect is thought to result from melatonin acting on high affinity receptors, MT1, MT2. Melatonin may enhance cytokine uh, production. And uh, melatonin may be useful in fighting infections like uh, HIV or even uh, our COVID and bacteria, uh, cancers. And endogenous melatonin in human lymphocytes has been related to interleukin-2 production. Factors associated with uh, disruption in melatonin levels. One is aging, as uh, spoken to. Changing the time zones. Changing the time zones more than five zones uh, eastward is uh, known to produce uh, mm, uh, the defect in uh, melatonin production. And during the shift work also, shift work, I have to tell one thing, there is a horrible shift system called ABC system. Two days A shift, two days uh, B shift, two days C shift. A shift means morning 6 o'clock to afternoon 2 o'clock or so. B shift means afternoon 2 o'clock to night 8 o'clock. And C shift means night 8 o'clock to morning 6 o'clock. 
what a every two days he has to change and one day half and what a horrible situation it is his sleep cycles will be going uh, he is getting to accustom one time and again it it, 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 it turns topsy turvy so this is the way how this particular shift see one one full month uh, night duty one full month day duty no problem will be there but uh, this type of uh, abc system will be the horrible uh, system and uh, melatonin uh, disruption occurs overweight produces uh, melatonin disruption dementia mood disorders like uh, in depression also one may get sleeplessness mania also one may get uh, 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 melatonin loss severe pain cancer type 2 diabetes so all these things uh, can result in low levels of disruption in uh, melatonin level lifestyle factors also uh, some lifestyle factors uh, they reduce the melatonin peak one is important the stress because of the stress cortisol goes up melatonin goes down caffeine it cuts melatonin production by half for 6 hours and alcohol up to 41% reduction and tobacco smoking consequences of disruption in melatonin levels one is sleep difficulties another is disturbances uh disturbances in uh, circadian uh, oscillator system uh the other one is acceleration of aging increase in the likelihood of uh, developing age related diseases immunological aging risk of developing certain types of cancer it may enhance the risk for development of diabetes obesity cardiovascular and kidney diseases then there is a relationship between psychiatric illnesses and uh, sleeplessness see you know that psychiatric illnesses uh, most of the psychiatric illnesses almost all the psychiatric illnesses would be having some sleep disturbances why it is because of the overlapping neural pathways and mechanism and in, a, in addition some stress uh, social isolation and also the medication which are taken may produce this one the psychiatric illnesses like uh, anxiety depression schizophrenia mania all these diseases uh, can lead to sleep disturbances and neurodegenerative diseases like dementia alzheimer's disease and all ocular diseases also may produce uh, sleep disturbances societal and uh, 24 hours uh, seven disruption aging stroke and trauma so these are some of the factors uh, associated with this one drugs and supplements that reduce melatonin beta and calcium channel blockers like we we use uh, in psychiatric practice we use propranolol a lot for uh, controlling anxiety so here this beta blocker naturally produces less sleep because of uh, action on melatonin non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs uh, anti anxiety drugs and sleep aid vitamin b12 antidepressants so all these things can uh, produce uh, uh, reduce the melatonin level habits that increase melatonin production increase the exposure to natural light during the day time and minimize ex exposure to uh, artificial light uh, in the uh, in the night night time uh, sleep is in complete darkness uh eat foods rich in melatonin melatonin rich foods actually means tryptophan uh, rich foods vitamin b6 and magnesium avoid a calcium deficiency restrict overeating and practice fasting intermittent fasting is very good intermittent fasting is known to produce very good result in uh, so many illnesses which are associated with uh, insulin resistance here also uh fasting uh, during the evening hours i think early our traditional uh, people are following the same thing here also intermittent fasting for a few uh, taking a, during a, uh, a limited 8 hours or so could be naturally beneficial for uh, the health what are the food sources actually in the form of melatonin it is uh, just uh, negligible or nil so the the precursor will be available in walnuts grapes 
and uh, oats, uh, berries, uh, citrus fruit, and uh, tomatoes, bananas, pineapple, corn. So these things uh, may help. Okay. Uh, for getting some vitamin, we won't be taking all these foods and all. We will be taking a capsule, is it not? Similarly, exogenous also melatonin is not a very costly thing, very easily available thing. So, exogenous melatonin, what will happen? What are the pharmacological properties of exogenous melatonin? So, here uh, our people, Dr. Reddy's lab people, they have brought with, uh, they have come out with uh, melotrip. Uh, melatonin 3 milligrams and other strengths are also available. Uh, so it will be helpful in fixing our body clock. So let us uh, examine uh, some of the pharmacokinetic uh, profiles. Quick absorption. Maximum concentration attained within 40 minutes of administration. Bioavailability. Although we take 3 milligrams or 5 milligrams, the available thing will be only a few micrograms like because lesser bioavailability. Rapid metabolism. Half-life of immediate release melatonin is 45 to 65 minutes, whereas prolonged release melatonin 3.5 to 4 hours. Here, one point I have to tell. See, how, how, much, how long it has been there in the body is not an important thing. It is a, the trigger like. It, it, it gives it, it should give the initial kick to fall asleep after that whether the melatonin uh, uh, lowers down whether the exogenous taken melatonin is uh, metabolized fully whether it is there existing at uh, three o'clock or four o'clock is immaterial initial starting kick only the uh, uh, it is important because the the latency would be covered Easy permeability across blood brain barrier in the absence of a trans transporter. For many drugs which we give, most of the drugs will not be crossing the blood brain barrier and uh, will be a futile exercise like. Here it is not like that. The metabolism is in uh, liver. Levels can also be affected by preparation. Those in oil based preparation lead to higher blood levels. Melatonin at early evening to help for prolonged elevation of nocturnal melatonin levels, useful for shift workers. Usually, the evening at 6 o'clock or so would be a beneficial time, people say. What happens if we take melatonin in the early morning? Morning, 5 o'clock or so, you got up and you had your melatonin dose. What will happen? At night, it advances the clock. In early aim, it delays the clock. If we take in the evening, it uh, advances the clock. If we take in the morning, it delays the clock. If given at 5 p.m., can advance the nighttime uh, melatonin secretion. It can also enter in rhythms in blind individuals who did not have endogenous rhythm. So it, it, it exogenous uh, by giving a pill like melatonin, it will help the blind people also. So here I have prepared a separate slide like that melatonin is considered a super, super antioxidant due to its ability to cross the blood brain bar barrier. Where melatonin binds? It works by binding three receptors. One is MT1 found in uh, suprachiasmatic nucleus of hypothalamus, pituitary gland, and cardiac blood vessels. MT2, retina and hippocampus. MT3, kidney, brain, and other organs. Melatonin binds to receptors mainly MT1 and uh, MT2, which are uh, timers, uh, metabotropic receptors. As a result, the following effects are uh, known. Regulation of the genes involved in uh, circadian uh, rhythm modulation. Regulation of the expression of other genes. These days, we talk that any molecule the gene is there, CD is there, and uh, to germinate that one, some trigger should be there. Actually, he is carrying a diabetes gene. For triggering, something happened. So here, it, that something will be happening, that gene expression will be happening because of uh, melatonin. 
anti inflammatory actions the antioxidant actions anti tumoral effects and all the melatonin given from outside the therapeutic functions are insomnia circadian circadian rhythm sleep wake disorders uh, promoting the onset of melatonin secretion regulating sleep wake cycle improving the sleep quality stabilizing the circadian rhythm decreasing the sleep onset latency increasing the total duration of the sleep here this point particular point total duration it is a controversial thing some studies say that the total duration also is improved with melatonin but uh, many studies say that total duration is not improved but quality of sleep is improved and the latency of onset is improved so that is the thing decreasing number of nocturnal uh, awakening compared to the hypnotic drug it is a non habit forming see this is the main problem with many things see the for choice of a hypnotic in a psychiatric patient what we do is the patient is having some depression with uh, anxiety so if we give some benzodiazepine like lorazepam or clonazepam he feels very happy ha ah, restlessness has come now i am sleeping well then next month when he comes after one month because we cannot continue benzodiazepines for a long time okay i am i am because now you are a bit comfortable uh, i i want to stop that lorazepam if i say no 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 stop the morning dose of loaxin that may not be uh, really what they feel <coughs> but this particular lorazepam is working so well don't take away that one so this is the main problem with this one so instead of giving a short acting the, like uh, lorazepam giving long acting like diazepam even for that also some some amount of dependence and if we give zolpidem like those will have the hypnotic property but will not have the anxiolytic bonus with them so many problems with uh, this type of things here it is non habit forming lesser next day drowsiness no memory or performance improvement impairment very low rebound rate and it is safe okay fda is a very very strict regulating authority you know and any molecule if it has to come come out fda puts so many stringent uh, rules and all but somehow it so happened that melatonin has been not considered as a drug by fda and it is uh, considered as a dietary supplement when it is considered as a dietary supplement naturally there is no need for prescription and uh, even in a strict country like usa no need for prescription they can get across the counter no regulation of dosing and preparation because there is no regulation for the doses strictly these people produce 3 mg and so they produce outside uh, as a dietary supplement 10 mg is the best dose 20 mg you take no problem it can be taken so this type of advertisements are naturally Uh, it is uh, getting marketed and also so what are the additives uh, uh, added to that one no control here everything even the additive thing the coloring agent the bulk agents all these things are controlled here uh, for the drugs whereas for the, the dietary supplements so, so no no regulatory thing and we do not know how much melatonin really we are getting and what nonsense things we are getting outside it is a problem available even on amazon in india amazon see when uh, uh, the covid restrictions are there when my people my patients are uh, not getting the thing uh, in our uh, in vijayawada or in varangal uh, we are not getting amazon in the medical stores what to do go to amazon and get a melatonin you will get it i was advising so uh, amazon just to type in Uh, melatonin you can get so many things so many preparations so many milligrams things so much price variation american academy of sleep medicine clinical practice guidelines they have recommended certain things like uh, delayed sleep wake uh, uh, pattern in adults with or without depression uh, delayed sleep wake uh, phase disorder in children or adolescents without comorbidities 
and a delayed sleep wake uh, phase disorder in children and uh, adolescents with psychiatric condition non 24 hour sleep wake disorder in blind adults so these things and other uh, those children and uh, adolescents with sleep wake uh, uh, behavior disorders and neurological disorders they can be prescribed melatonin so these are the guidelines by the uh, sleep uh, academy uh, academy of sleep medicine the italian clinical practice guidelines melatonin 2 mg prolonged release is among the first choice of drugs for the treatment of insomnia uh, more than 65 years old people they are the ideal people up to 13 weeks can be given indian psychiatric society it has given uh, the regulation melatonin 3 mg can be used as a chronobiotic uh, melatonin uh, uh, time of dose administration is uh, recommended for jet lag disorder and melatonin can be considered for managing uh, uh, rem associated uh, behavior disorders or uh, any uh, circadian rhythm sleep wake disorders it is again a surprising thing that in the scientific studies two groups we can, we can see doses as low as 0.3 mg can decrease sleep latency so we, we are getting 3 mg tablets 5 mg tablets and 10 mg tablets what is this 0.3 people say that even 0.3 mg are uh, uh, 0.5 mg also work uh, you need not give higher dose that is uh, one sect of people say, saying no 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 why that particular titration because bioavailability will be very less new 3 mg or 5 mg after all it is going to be metabolized very soon it is not going to have any long term effects the other people will say melatonin at early evening to help prolonged elevated nocturnal melatonin level that means here when we give this kick in the evening Uh, naturally it produces uh, the continuation by the endogenous thing doses ranging from this 0.1 to 80 mg are tried if initial response stops uh, but stops being uh, effective after a few weeks recommended drug holiday like in parkinson disease when uh, the, again uh, relapse of the symptoms are so people will give drug holiday similarly here also drug holiday for some time if it stopped working implies effectiveness for primary insomnia than insomnia secondary to neurological or psychiatric natural is it not just uh, to improve the sleep uh, is not enough the primary condition whether he has depression or anxiety so treatment of that one is more important and it, it is a supplement some research studies these particular studies are given by dr redis uh, lab uh, their presentation so i quote them effect of melatonin on nurses working in shifts nurses naturally will be having the shifts and all to compare the efficacy of melatonin 5 mg with the placebo uh, study groups has design is double blind placebo controlled randomized crossover trial and uh, placebo to melatonin melatonin to placebo so study groups are placebo followed by melatonin melatonin followed by this one uh, placebo Uh, subject to sleep parameters how did you have the uh, sleep and all assessment of subject to assessment of insomnia so here no polysomni uh, uh, polysomnography and all but their subjective impression study intervention treatment and uh, this one both melatonin placebo are uh, taken in the uh, night after uh, night okay hmm. so the results are it was observed that sleep onset latency was significantly reduced in those people who are having melatonin melatonin altered the total there is no evidence of total see this is the point total sleep time not altered but sleep latency onset uh, it has decreased no adverse effect conclusion melatonin may be considered as an effective treatment for shift workers with difficulty in falling asleep so this is the problem after shifting from day duty to night duty night duty to day duty they although they get the drowsiness they can't sleep uh, so these are the uh, statistical uh, uh, things uh, significant impact of melatonin on the alleviation of jet lag to investigate the effects of optimal doses from 
melatonin and the symptoms associated with jet lag. One formulation is the fast release formulation, 0.5 milligrams. Another formulation is 5 milligrams uh, 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 fast release formulation. The third one is uh, control release 2 milligrams formulation. And uh, the fourth one is uh, placebo. The outcome is self-rated sleep quality, sleep latency, daytime sleepiness, mood disturbances uh, after uh, intercontinental flights. Uh, study participants had flights uh, across six to eight time zones. Uh, the drugs were taken once in a day, bedtime for uh, uh, four days after the eastward flight. Okay. The results are five milligrams fast release formulation had a significant effect on the following improvement. So that means it is not the control release. It is not the low dose uh, fast release. It is not the placebo which have ranked. It is five milligrams fast release formulation which has worked well. Reduction in the sleep latency, sleep quality improved, daytime sleepiness uh, has uh, come down. Uh, it has produced, uh, it has reduced the uh, uh, fatigue. So this was the study. Then the third study, effect of exogenous uh, melatonin in the patients with REM sleep behavior disorder like. You know, NREM sleep disorders and all, like night terrors and all, and with uh, REM, some people, they get the nightmares and they act out during the nightmare. They shout out and uh, saying that uh, as if something is go going on and they do some impulsive act and after that they come to the, they, came, uh, they, they wake up. So, to actually during the REM, uh, REM period, the eyes would be moving. But uh, the, the voluntary muscles, they, they go into etonia. Uh, so, but that etonia wouldn't be there in the behavior disorder people who associated with REM sleep. So, melatonin 3 milligrams and placebo. Ultimately, the outcomes are percentage of REM sleep epox without muscle etonia. Uh, with muscle etonia is good sleep. Without muscle etonia, that is bad sleep. So, Clinical evidence is measured by PGI. Patients received a placebo or melatonin between 10.30 and 11. So polysomnography recordings were done. And ultimately, they found that the melatonin has got good results. Uh, summary of the study and uh, the results and the statistical significance. And um, not only the sleep thing, again, uh, repeating the thing that as a bonus, we get antioxidant effects of melatonin. It neutralizes uh, the reactive oxygen and the nitrogen species that are toxic to cells, direct effect. And it stimulates the antioxidants uh, indirectly, and it blocks the activity of pro-oxidant enzymes indirectly. So these are the antioxidant things. And the lungs, uh, asthma, uh, chronic uh, bronchitis are helped. Uh, kidney glomerulonephritis, chronic renal failure helped. Preeclampsia, intrauterine growth of the fetus helps. Joints, arthritis, rheumatism. These are our various studies of uh, uh, benefits of uh, melatonin. Eyes, uh, brain, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, memory loss, depression, stroke, uh, some benefit. Uh, eyes, cataract and retinal diseases. Multi organs, cancer, aging, diabetes, uh, inflammation, infection, heart diseases like uh, arterial sclerosis, hypertension, ischemia, cardiomyopathy, heart failures, and all. E immunological also, immunological effect is thought to result from melatonin acting on high affinity receptors, uh, MT1, MT2, and the cytokine production. The healthy cytokine production is controlled by melatonin. Melatonin may be useful fighting infectious diseases, including viral, HIV, and bacterial infections and cancer. Endogenous melatonin in human lymphocytes has been related to uh, IL-2 production. Okay, so, so far, so good. What about the adverse effects? Although the daytime sleepiness is there, no memory impairment is there, all these things are there, so good. But still, excess melatonin sometimes can lead to daytime sleepiness. Impaired mental and physical performance. See, you know, during the trials, even one among 1,000 says that he had drowsiness during the daytime, it has to be reported. 
so it will be reported like this uh, impairment in the mental and physical uh, performance hypothermia and high levels of uh, prolactin menstrual irregularities galactorrhea impotence and decrease in libido so these are the things the contraindications are some people advise the contraindication during the childhood because high levels are there but melatonin is effectively tried in adhd autism spectrum disorder without any complication with some benefit contraindications are breastfeeding pregnancy kidney diseases malignancies of blood or uh, immunological systems so my last slide would be the conclusion melatonin plays a vital role in the sleep regulation and circadian rhythm in humans a disturbance in melatonin's release uh, timing or uh, uh, production can contribute to sleep disorders such as primary insomnia advanced sleep phase uh, uh, syndromes which impact the overall health safety and quality of a person among various pharmacological treatments available for sleep disorders namely barbiturate benzodiazepines and all exogenous melatonin has minimal side effects and adequate efficacy in terms of tolerability dependency and rebound rate therapeutic functions of melatonin in sleep deprivation and circadian rhythm sleep disorders include improved sleep quality and uh, stabilization of the rhythms decrease sleep onset latency increased total duration of sleep and decreased number of nocturnal awakenings furthermore melatonin exhibits antioxidant anti inflammatory as well as immuno stimulatory properties thus making it beneficial for health and uh, i wish you all success in life i wish uh, uh, dr reddy's lab uh, in their melatonin promoting uh, success and uh, i think uh, uh, after my time thank you very much uh, for uh, giving me this opportunity and uh, good night uh, sir uh, thank you very much sir uh, it was a very nice and informative session sir and uh, and also thank you very much for giving the opportunity to us enter red in enter that red this team sir uh, sir shall we talk shall we take any question and answers q and a session oh, yeah. see i okay. somehow i am not getting the chat box or uh, the participants outside participants here yes uh, sir uh, as of now participants are 40 plus sir 45 plus okay uh, we we can I take thought, from uh, i thought it is uh, geeta open uh, yeah. bhagavad geeta where uh, audience is one or two like that i thought okay no, sir. nice then uh, yes sir uh, uh, my, uh, i i thank those 40 participants who have uh, spent their uh, uh, valuable time Uh, for listening to my lecture thank you sir thank you uh, sir uh, we can take help from technical team uh, for qa okay. session qa so, session uh, le- let them uh, show the chat box to me so that uh, i can select uh, uh, important uh, questions uh, technical team uh, uh, yes sir i i will i will ask i will, I will take we'll, we will take from see the chat box hello 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 yes sir uh, is there any q and a question and answer q and a session is there any questions are available uh, sir was given answer hello 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 yes yeah, sir uh, there is a some question in chat box i have posted in chat box so please check the chat box sir uh, one question is came sir please check sir can i read sir ha uh, yeah i mean i i i got it okay does uh, meltofast uh, cause uh, weight gain yes there are some studies about this one and even the opposite things are also there uh, see because of the melatonin uh, weight loss can occur uh, it's written and melatonin and theanine combination can produce weight gain Uh, there are there, there are reports usually for any person with psychiatric problem what we advise is to follow 
something like low carb diet irrespective of whether they have uh, diabetes or not many disorders including alzheimer's and all they are considered to be due to insulin resistance and uh, many of the drugs produce a uh, lot of metabolic disturbances uh, in psychiatry so not them to reduce the carbohydrate load and to and regarding the fat of course i mean i, I don't say i i i am a liberal man as far as the fat is concerned but of course i mean many people who will have the reservation regarding the fat but carbohydrate is the main culprit i think by reducing the carbohydrate what i advise my patients is whatever food you take now the four times instead of taking four times you take three times only if you have more appetite what you can do is uh, before uh, uh, going for lunch you take uh, uh, one or two glasses of uh, buttermilk and go for that one and intermittent fasting i have been following for so many months and all i found it to be uh, so well and uh, just i mean those 16 hours with just coffee or buttermilk we can uh, lead and uh, i have i i i am told by even diabetologists also that they lost uh, some weight after following intermittent uh, fasting so uh, any drug which produces weight gain uh, for example valanjpine is a culprit for uh, uh, weight weight gain uh, usually we advise the same thing with metafast also you may do the same Hello, uh, sir. Next question, can I read, sir? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, ah, uh, see here, the ideal time is not only for melatonin, for any any hypnotic drug or any sedative drug. Ah, uh, it is better to take before food only. Why before food? Because it gets absorbed fast. and uh, the metabolism will be over by day time by, uh, by uh, early morning so that they will be free from hangover whereas those people who take uh, uh, sedative drugs uh, after food those get mixed up with the food and naturally the absorption gets delayed and the metabolism will not be over uh, uh, before waking time uh, causing uh, a, a sort of little uh, day time drowsiness or uh, hangover e this is general rule whereas melatonin i happen to see many studies actually i was uh, uh, practicing uh, asking them to take melatonin before food either uh, at 7 o'clock or so i was uh, asking but after going through many studies what i found is 3 hours or 4 hours before uh, uh, the sleeping like 6 o'clock or 5 o'clock would be more beneficial it is written nobody gets immediately nobody falls off into the sleep immediately but uh, trial and error 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock well before the food and well before uh, sleeping would be all right if it is not possible or if it is not working well uh, i think uh, before uh, um, 8 o'clock or so uh, before taking dinner it would be all right sleep apnea the problem is uh, sleep apnea is a different condition which requires different mechanisms different thing and melatonin i don't think uh, uh, it, it works well with uh, apnea sleep apnea uh, some of the patients are reported not working well is there any suggestion melatonin is not working well because because of the high expectations what they think is they compare melatonin with uh, uh, zolpidem or benzodiazepine see with lorazepam 1 mg i was not getting much sleep with lorazepam 2 mg it is okay 4 hours i am sleeping when you prescribed lorazepam 3 mg yeah comfortable but never don't reduce lorazepam 3 to 2 so this is the usual thing what i what we face and uh, some people will be comfortable with uh, zolpidem uh, 10 mg or so here i have i have seen this one also starting with 3 mg not effective raising to 5 mg still not effective 
10 milligrams and i assure the patients you are raising the dose uh, will it be all right no 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 it is a natural thing only in the body so no need to worry at all side effects will not be there don't worry no habit formation you, you take even after 10 milligrams also it is not working so what i find is there is something like a window effect see if it has to work it works that's all even with 3 milligrams also it works if 3 milligrams doesn't work it doesn't mean that 5 milligrams or 10 milligrams is going to work and what their expectation is total uh, sleep should be uh, 7 hours or 8 hours it's not going to improve the total hours it is going to improve the falling sleep it reduces the latency so it can be used as a an additional thing moreover when there is some some other primary condition and when the insomnia is secondary to that one unless the primary condition is solved how can uh, this melatonin uh, alone will help here i i i say one uh, analogy see uh, uh, నాకు బిగ్గా నిద్రట్టాలండి మీరు ఏం చెప్పినా కానీ నిద్ర అట్టేలా చేయండి మంచి మంది ఇవ్వండి నిద్రకి దెన్ ఐ సే దట్ డోంట్ కమ్ టు మీ గో టు సమ్ మెడికల్ షాప్ పర్సన్ అండ్ ఆస్ ఫర్ దిస్ వన్ సి వెన్ వన్ స్నేక్ ఈజ్ క్రాలింగ్ ఇన్ ద రూమ్ ఈవెన్ ఇఫ్ యూ గివ్ టూ టైమ్స్ ఆర్ త్రీ టైమ్స్ డోస్ ఆఫ్ హెప్నాటిక్ విల్ యూ గెట్ స్లీప్ టేకింగ్ ఎవే టేకింగ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ద రూమ్ దట్ స్నేక్ దెన్ ఓన్లీ యూ గెట్ స్లీప్ సిమిలర్లీ హియర్ ఆల్సో taking away that depression taking away taking out that uh, uh, anxiety then only it will produce but melatonin will be helping to some extent so this is the thing can we take melatonin supplements throughout life for anxiety and stress see here for any 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 theory or any any proposal there will be people who are opposing naturally is it not here there is a lobby who are against this one see even for psychiatric practice also psychiatric drugs so those things are uh, going to uh, chemically uh, influence the brain and all you are artificially you are going to influence uh, all the all your moods is it so similar uh, that type of uh, anti psychiatric arguments are there like that for melatonin also some arguments are there after all melatonin is a hormone it is being secreted by the body naturally you are giving artificially something so what message the body will be getting body thinks that there is lot of melatonin in the body so i need not secrete and the melatonin secreting systems all they will sleep off so something like atrophy uh, atrophy of the things because those are not used will may occur sometimes the receptors may it is something like uh, habituation see habituation uh, with a drug like uh, with melatonin uh, the receptors are acting and when the melatonin is uh, taken out uh, all the melatonin uh, producing systems and releasing systems they are asleep because of this one so this type of argument is there so better to give for a few months and then stop it elderly people of course because they they, they do not have naturally occurring uh, melatonin in their body supplement can be given throughout their life is it recommended for teenagers actually for teenagers melatonin sufficient melatonin would be there so they may not uh, it, it may not be required some people that's why say that uh, why giving for teenagers they say but in child psychiatry in the child in neurology they have used even for children also so so high doses also in the rats per kg 100 mg they have given 100 mg per kg no lethal effects no side effects so uh, for teenagers uh, and all uh, to give for some time it's okay no problem sir i think uh, questions are end, uh, ended sir okay uh, Sir, really, the, this is very informative session, sir. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a nice day, sir. And good night, Thank sir. you once again for the organizers and thank you once again for all the participants. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.